Hello YouTubers, this is Nintendo, Sega, CBBC, CITV, Disney, Nix, Yum Brony here, and today we're gonna, well, talk about what I think of CBBC today, and, well, it's okay, I guess. It's starting to get a bit better, but it's, not as, it's still not as good as what it was b back in, um, you know, around 2002, 2003, something like that, but... <sighs> but... I really want BBC4 to freaking die. You know, die. You know, get... Get killed, you know, moved online only, like... Like BBC Free, because BBC BBC Free was like that. Yeah. Anyone you know have to BBC Free? Well, certainly one one reason. Um. It was because of. Yeah, you because know, it was. It was you know, cause there was certain things that happened to, that made uh, BBC Free uh, online only, and some other Pokemon like Family Guy has just moved to ITV Two. Well, it was on BBC Two back on BBC Two uh, for for when season thirteen was bra uh, come up with brand new episodes, but then around uh, season fourteen and fifteen went to ITV Two, and the case is that. You know, CBBS is getting in that canon of Nickelodeon, Cartoon Network, and Disney Channel, three main, three main kids channels in America, or networks as they call them, over in there. And CBBS, you know, it had it had some of the great gems on on on, the, on that channel, even before that when it was you know the preschool programming on CBBC, which. My opinion, it's good, but you know, you know, how could I put this? Um, oh my god! Just think, just pretty think of you know most other programs like um, you know you you know Hey Doggy, you know they're getting into that you know. Sorry, um, you know that um, cr you know that kind of style that um, near enough, near enough mostly gets into, you know, like it's doing like different styles. Like I know that CBBS, while their shows aren't good as what they were back in when I was little, they still have fun and creative ideas, you know. I mean, and some of their properties, I think mostly, I've seen season two, two of Topsy and Tim recently, and I think it's much better than series, the first series. Though series one was really f up. But other ideas, they keep, they, like, they're trying to reboot the Teletubbies, and didn't really work, it didn't really work. You know, because when you think of um, most other shows, there's, you know, you could have rebooted Bodger and Badger and, you know, how if you Stevenson after, if Andy Cunningham died, you know, you could do, uh, you could do, like, Simon Bodger's son, uh, well, grandson, you know, long lost, and, you know, Badger and Mouse, you have to fight, you know, go to, go to, to there, to him. Just for a new home. Because if they find out Simon Bodger already died, then there would have been a... You know, something like that, but I don't know what, why the Canadian company DHX Media, you know... You know, they, they bought Ragdoll Productions in uh, 2013. They made, uh, they produced Twirly Woos, 
in 2015, in the same year as the new Teletubbies reboot. And the Teletubbies reboot was produced by Dal McQueen. Dal McQueen, who um, produced the uh, 2013 Topsy and Tim series, and also um, did Bear Behaving Badly, the fluff, uh, Bear Behaving Badly, uh, Smile, both for CBBC, and then they also did the Fluffy Club for GMTV. Yeah, they did. They did a lot of stuff. They and the, and the three first shows were good, but then Topsy and Tim was well. His first season was really, and then it got it got a bit. It got slightly a bit red around season two. You know, because you gotta you gotta give shows a chance, really, to really get into there. But Teletubbies, this this new series, everyone's freaking praising it. Like, I don't even know why why they're even freaking praising this freaking. <sighs> like, this piece of expensive freaking. <laughs> Like, what's God's freaking creation? Freaking... Oh my god. I'm like, I'm, don't, sorry, people. I'm just freaking getting a, like, fandom strider here. But... Yes. I mean... Luckily, I... It... It's... I mean, CBBS is not like Milkshake, where they're showing freaking Peppa Pig. And... You know, because... BBC had... CBBS had some free free programs on their on their freaking channel like Noddy, uh, well Noddy's Toyland Adventures, of Fime and Sam, Postman Pat. They, they had programs like they had those programs, and then ITV only had Thomas the Tank Engine, which, and then that went to Milkshake. And when when the, when when Milkshake bought it, was freaking like there was an era where. You know, from season 9 to uh, 16 was where the show was getting shit. Because I've stopped, I stopped watching it. Because when it hit to CGI, I've just stopped completely watching it. Like, like, around season 17, they were trying to copy My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic. Like, oh, we gotta, oh, we gotta, um, you know, get, get to this, get to these male demographics, these grown male demographics, kind of thing. There's... I'm not a. I'm not what you call a bromus. I'm a. I'm. I'm partly fifty percent brony. Thank you very much. And let's let you say I am. You know, cause I'm still saying CBBS is okay now, but will they ever be in the future? Yes, um, might not be. Because CITV has just got rid of their programs um, around uh, 2014. Was back in the late 90s, their shows were good. Like, you had Mopper Top Shop, uh, Rosie and Jim, uh, Sooty Heights. Then there was uh, Teddy Bears, which was their uh, co midnight co copy of uh, Teddy Tubbies. You know, because the teddy bears really look like freaking Teletubbies, like, oh my god. And then, you, then around, but before that they had Wizard Dora, um, Sooty and Co, um, Rosie and Jim, Tots TV. Actually, Tots TV went to CBeebies after that, and, you know, reruns. And, you know, because... I really wanted to see, I really wanted CITV to, you know, gain back its preschool program, get some new preschool programs in twenty fourteen. If when when I when ITV was going to buy out Channel Five, but then they were bloody bought by Firecom. So many people many people can't upload freaking you know milkshake videos. And it's not, and it's not really of it. It's a, it's a thing. Of, like yes, people can, but 
it's not really because it's a... It's not really because it's really a Channel 5 thing. It's a freaking uh, Firecon thing! You know, we're getting all this sh from Firecon. Like, they blocked Spongebob on YouTube. They... And... The, the, nowadays, f Channel 5 is starting a show after Milkshake. Nickelodeon programs. Which, they got to stop this! Really. As well. I don't know, but... Yet again... I think the better channel is is CBBS because milkshake. There's no way of it seeing a freaking channel. And, oh my god! I wish I could call out to Firecom and tell them to buy ITV. I heard that the uh, NBC, that NBC Universal, are also known as. Um, I can't talk about any more of this. Because it's got about 11 minutes. So, uh, this is uh, Nintendo, Sega, CBBC, CITV, Disney, Nick, CM, Bernie saying, I will see you in part two.